Hey, it's Erin. Do you ever scroll through social media and come across an account that's just so perfect that it can't be real? All of the photos are amazingly curated, the lighting, the angles, it's just like perfection. It's like looking in a magazine. And inevitably, below each photo, you'll find some inspirational quote about be yourself, love yourself, only compare you to you, or you know something along those lines. And it usually ends up making us feel just a lot crummier than when we first started looking at Instagram or Facebook. Today I wanna to delve into the top secrets of fitness influencers and share how they create those perfectly curated photos and also show you that that is a highlight reel. It's not actually reality and that we shouldn't compare our own blooper reel and our own reality to something that is, well, something that doesn't exist. So without further ado, let's get into those secrets. The first secret is, is that it's not real life. And while this seems pretty intuitive, let me explain. So you're looking at a picture, understand that this picture is the one picture that made the cut. And there are probably 50 other pictures that were taken, maybe a hundred other pictures that were taken, and none of those worked. And of this picture, everything is carefully composed. The person is posing exactly the way they want to pose to show off their best assets, and that a lot of consideration went into this picture. Also, think about people who post who are lean all the time. No one stays super duper shredded year round. It's just not possible. Understanding that can go a long way. So for example, a lot of people will get super lean a couple of times a year, and around that time, they'll take a lot of pictures, they'll do a lot of videos, and during the times when they're not as lean, they're gonna go ahead and cover up. So chances are, if you're looking at someone, they're super shredded, it's December, it's probably a throwback Thursday picture. The next secret, and this is one of my favorites, you have angles, lighting, skin tone, flexed versus not flexed muscles. This is just one secret, but it's a ton of different things to really consider. Angles mean the world in photography. You can take a picture from the ground and you're gonna look like a total superhero. You can put the camera up here and shoot down and you're gonna look more like a lollipop. So your head's gonna look a little bigger and your legs and your body are gonna look a little smaller. So knowing that, it kinda changes things. Also, I know for me, for example, I look a little bit like SpongeBob if I'm just standing like straight on. But, you know, if I twist certain things, if I bring my shoulders closer to the camera, if I push my hips away, then my waist all of a sudden looks smaller and my shoulders look huge. So pay attention to the angles if you're looking at pictures and you're trying to compare. A lot of times the person you're comparing yourself to is completely contorted and I mean, it's just a huge pain in the lower back <laughs> when you do something like that. But if you're just standing normally, don't compare yourself to a person on social media picture wise because you don't know how much contortion they're actually going through in order to get that perfect picture. Lighting is so important. You can stand under direct light and it's gonna make your muscles really pop. If you're talking about the face, if your face is under direct light, it tends to not look super great. So a lot of times fitness influencers will place a ring light or a box light in front of them to where the light's shining directly on them, giving this ethereal glow, but it's also really minimizing any imperfections so you don't see them. Skin tone is so important. How many fitness influencers that are ripped are really pale? Self tanner is huge in making the body look a lot more defined and a lot more ripped. So you'll see the difference between my one pale leg and my one tanned leg, and you'll see how much more definition you see with the spray tan. Flexing a muscle or relaxing a muscle two totally different looks. When you're flexed, the legs or the arms can look twice as big. So you're not going to see a lot of fitness influencers that are not flexed in a picture or at least putting a little tension on the muscles. So you take those flexed muscles and you take the angles, combine the two, 
throw on a coat of spray tan and you have something, you have someone that looks super human and they're just normal or, you know, they work out, but they actually look a lot more ripped, shredded, and their proportions look a lot more impressive by utilizing these things. The third secret, and this is one I kind of contemplated not including because I don't have any specific examples, but you see it so much on social media, is the Facetune and the Photoshop. So the classic example I can think of is the lady standing and she's got her arms on the railing and where the hips and the waist is, you can see there's a very distinct drop in the railing. So there's been a little bit of tweaking of that picture, drawing the waist in, pushing the hips out, creating that hourglass shape. And if you look carefully at a lot of the, the celebrities and some of the fitness influencers, will make their proportions look a lot more impressive than what they actually are. So be really careful again if you are trying to compare yourself to something that is not attainable and doesn't actually exist. The next secret is that there is no one size fits all diet program. If you see a fitness influencer and he or she is promoting a diet program to help get you shredded, to help you get in the best shape of your life, just do a little bit more research. A lot of times people with a great following have no actual certifications or accolades or knowledge that backs up this diet plan. And recently there have been a few fitness influencers that have gotten into trouble about creating and selling faulty or <laughs> bad diet programs or not delivering them at all. Your time, your money, your well-being is very, very important. So if someone's promising a quick fix or a diet that's you know gonna get you in amazing, amazing shape, don't bite on it right away. Just be careful. And the last secret is we all have insecurities, doubts, hangups, and we all lack motivation from time to time. So this is just part of being human and a lot of fitness influencers or many people will not go and tell you that straight out. There are days where I lack motivation. I put on my sneakers and I tell myself I'm just gonna go to the gym, I can leave if I want to, and just getting there is half the battle. And you can't train hard year round. There are just certain things, you know, life has ebbs and flows and even the person that has the perfect body, in your opinion, still has insecurities about his or her body or shape. So it's just, uh, like I said, just part of being human. So understand that the most gorgeous person in the world might not like her bingo wings or, you know, like a little muffin top or whatever it might be. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. If there's something specifically that you'd like to see, please comment below. And I love to create videos that you want to see. Until next time, train hard y'all.